Okay, so I just suggested that you should change your mindset and start thinking that LinkedIn is a sales platform and not a job board. As I said, LinkedIn is a place where you're gonna do business and the product you are gonna sell is the product you, all right? And who is using LinkedIn nowadays? Who is there? What types of professionals are there not only looking to sell their products, but also buying products? LinkedIn is, a, is the only a platform, online a website or whatever, network, social media, or whatever. It is the only place in the world where you're gonna find decision makers as decision makers. You're gonna find change makers as change makers. If you find these same people, uh, the CEO of a company out there in Facebook or Instagram, they will be in disguise, okay? We're gonna talk about that as well. But now, start thinking that once you open your LinkedIn to do business, you are targeting people, see? In a good sense of the word, of course, but you are targeting people who can decide. And these people, most of the times, they are not in the HR, they are not recruiters. See, you gotta start thinking that uh, if you spend more time with decision and change makers, you're gonna have things decided faster and better for you. These are the people that you should be talking uh, on LinkedIn. These should be the people that you should be targeting with content, with your material, with your problem solving skills. These are the people that you must be connecting every day using LinkedIn. A new concept nowadays that's important for us to, to understand is the concept of a change maker. Because sometimes when I say decision maker, you might think, oh, am I going to be talking directly with the CEO, the CFO? Yes, but also the, the person who is going to sit beside you there if you were there, see? If you are in a specific job, you are gonna have colleagues, you are gonna attend meetings, you're gonna talk with people every day uh, performing your, your work, right? So these people that you still don't know that, they will help in the decision process when a company needs to hire you. Go and meet them. Meet them online and then offline, go for coffee, go for chat rooms or whatever. Talk with them as often as you speak with the recruiters, with the HR managers, with the CFOs, CEOs, CEO, CMOs, CEOs, CIOs, whatever, with God, whatever. See, talk with them as much because these people will influence the decision of the, 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 of the decision makers. See, they will talk about you, they will, uh, will go into that, but they will like and share and, uh, but well, expose your content, okay, to the decision makers. But once they find, once they know you, and they know that they, their company also has a specific problem, they will do what? They will match make. They will go to their board and tell them, hey, there's a guy that I know, I actually I don't know them, but I, I've been exchanging messages with this professional, and I know this guy might be suited for our problem there, see? and that he might be speaking about you to a decision maker who can actually sometimes over the phone, it happens a lot, over the phone, hire you, buy your product, the product you. Trust that you will be engaging and talking way more directly with people. People that will identify first, and I'm gonna show you how you will identify as change and decision makers. Once you do that, you will see your, the probability of you getting your opportunities increase and then the opportunities and the job that you want, that you deserve, will be just after that. Trust me. 